very good morning to you. I thought we'd start the video over here. Thank you, Mrs. H. I hope they bring a bit of sunshine in your life. Especially if it's not shining outside, which uh, it hasn't been for the last few days. Well, off and on it has, but there's been lots of drizzle and rain and sort of stuff. But um, that's Britain for you. <laughs> okay, a very... Looking forward to this, actually, for the last few days. It's a very simple... What I class as a my classic shave, an old, well, a Paul H classic shave, shall we say. Uh, but it was many people's classic shaves years ago. Uh, not necessarily with all the same products, but uh, certainly this stuff. This is the palm olive shaving soap in its home dish. It's just an inexpensive chrome um, bowl from, a, I think it was from a um, place called Home Bargains or some shop like that. Very inexpensive, about a pound. Um, and what I did was I got a couple of the shave sticks, as in the thumbnail of this video, and I grated them with an old cheese grater, which is now my soap grater. It's in the other room, I think, or in the cupboard. And then once I, once I grated them all, I pressed it down, pressed it down, and smoothed it out. And then this has been used several times, and then it becomes a nice sort of solid base easier to lather um, palm olive in a as if it was sold in a, um, a bowl instead of the stick you can face lather the stick or you can sort of wet brush you know all sorts of things my dad used to do my grandfather and I'm sure yours did as well if they used this along to go with that is the Gillette ball end tech razor named from the ball ender Three piece non adjustable, it has a logo there. You can see Gillette. So, um, inside, we're going to go with a new blade for a change. <laughs> um, we're going to use some of these Persona Red. Uh, Persona, well, these are a blue, the same blade though, I think, as the Persona Red. So, we're going to use one of them. So, Sunday. But the thing is, how was Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and Saturday after I seen you last? Good, I hope. In life, in health and in general. And in shaves, of course, yeah. Overhang to be aware of. Very light razor, head heavy. Um, a standardish aggression. Now the brush, I used to use this a lot. One of my favourite ball brushes. Anybody watch me a long time? Can you tell what it is? Can you tell what it is yet? Yeah, heard... Anyway, there it is. Samog 830 ball brush. It's, it's brother or whatever. Top shelf right in the middle. White knot with the black. This has got the red. Um, that one's the black. And that's the 810, I think. Uh, 820. This is the 830 ball brush. Right. That's been soaking in this thing of hot water. You have to soak a ball brush and a badger, really. It works better. Um, since using synthetic brushes, I don't know how you find it, because I used only these and badgers when I started. Um, lathering is a different technique. Not, well, not a technique. It's a different sort of... Um, this brush, a ball brush, creates the lather, as you can see here. But it also likes to keep it sometimes, <laughs> where a synthetic will create it and distribute it, no problem. Uh, so you have to work at it a bit with this. But um, always worth it. The smell of this, I love palm olive. So inexpensive here it was. No longer available in the shops here. It, was, it used to be 50 pence a stick. And uh, they stopped. Well, they've stopped selling it in the shops. They haven't stopped making it, I don't think. Because it is available online. But like anything, as soon as they stop selling it, people start selling it online at silly prices. Um, but what can you say? You know, they'll just say, well, if you want it, it's there. If you don't want it, leave it. <laughs> Pay up or leave alone. <laughs> yeah. So that'll do. Doesn't take a lot. We can always go back to it. God, yeah, this this scent takes me right back. 
that'll do it. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, wet the face and we'll get on with it. Oh, you wait till I tell you what we're having for Sunday lunch. Well, it might be an evening meal, I see, but uh, the Sunday lunch, anyway. Here we go. Palm olive shaving soap. Such a soft, beautiful brush. Um, the reason people soak, you might, if you're new to this, you might say, well, why do you soak a ball brush or a badger brush or why do you need to soak them? Well, it's just, it's like, it's real hair. So you wouldn't wash your hair dry, would you, with soap? It would be right mess. So if you sort of soak your hair and then wash it and soap it up, it's lovely. It works better, easier. And it's just the same with this, really. It's a wet brush. Give it time to soak, about five minutes, ten minutes in hot water and then flick it out and then it's sort of absorbed a bit of the water if you like. No, you don't have to do that with a synthetic because it's not real. Simple answer really. The simpleness of it. Here we go, the first pass, Persona Platinum brand new Gillette ball end. Lovely. Very slick soap, Pam Olive. I've asked and asked in videos for someone. Well, I've asked, I've said I wish, I should say. A lot of people are the same. Um, maybe not some of these companies, artisans, soap makers that make aftershave as well. If they would make the palm olive aftershave, maybe not the soap, but if you did the palm olive aftershave uh, and you do a soap as well to go with it, I expect, but uh, I'd certainly buy it. I was actually uh, lucky uh, a few years back. Um, well, how can I say? I was lucky and unlucky at the same time. And the reason for that is I, I put a bid on eBay for some two bottles of palm olive aftershave full. Uh, and I think it was about 20, 25 pounds. Now, obviously, they wouldn't have cost that at the time, but they're so rare to get. I was willing to pay it. But the seller, I bought them um, and I paid for them. But when the seller realised, I think he was in either Germany or Poland or something, I can't remember, Germany, Poland, somewhere like that. Um, once he's seen I was from the UK, he said, no, it's going to cost too much to ship. Now, I would have paid, but um, he didn't sort of give me a chance to ask that. He just sort of declined the sale and refunded me. So that was a shame. So I was lucky and <laughs> unlucky. I've just gone back to the top of that. I didn't just sort of gathered what was on the top there. Beautiful, creamy. As you can see, this brush. This is quite a thick, creamy one. Isn't it? This brush is uh, creating it beautifully and distributing it wonderfully. Pam 
personally, and all my things are personal to me, um, I'm not saying things, this is good, that's not good, you know, it's, it's my own opinion. But I think a ball brush does very well with a hard puck of soap across the growth. Lovely razor, very comfortable, light. This is a slick, as I say, soap, and this is quite a thick, pasty, some people call it, lather. I like it like this. I like it wetter now as well, but it works well for me this way as well, as well. It works well for me as well. Your grammar is disgusting. That's lovely. What's your shave of the day? If you have one. I think most people do on a Sunday, don't they? Because it's sort of like a, maybe their only time they can um, have, the t have the relaxation of doing it. And having the time to enjoy it, I expect. Maybe unless you've got children. Or cats. Bossy cats. That's lovely. Right. Nice. Yeah, Sunday lunch today. It's going to be... I was going to do braising steak, which is like an inexpensive cut of steak, which is usually used in stews and things like that. Because um, it needs like sl the slower and the lower you cook it, beautiful. But if you were to fry it, it'd be very tough. Um, so I'm just going to add a bit of water to this brush. I'm having ribeye steak. And that will sit in a roasting, well, a glass roasting a casserole dish, really. Uh, I'll chop onions and put them in the base of the glass dish. Place the steak on top. Season salt and pepper. I'll put a cube of bovril, which is a beef drink, really. Um, but this one's main, the bovril cubes are made for so like a dry stock cube. A cube of oxo, which is a beef stock cube, dry, you just crumble it. And some water, hot water, just to sort of cover the onions. Lid on, the glass lid on, and in the oven, very low, against the growth now, very low. And what will happen is, the steak... Well, obviously it's not touching the base of the glass or the dish. So it will cook on the onions, if you like. And uh, as it's ready, I put some flour in water or maybe some corn flour. I think you call it cornstarch, do you? Um, in other places. Mix that with some cold water, like a liquid, put that in just to thicken it. And it'll create its own gravy, so it'll cook in the onions, the beef stock and gravy. And it'll just infuse all the flavours together. It should be so tender it'll come apart. And as I say, uh, in doing so it will create its own onion, beef onion gravy. And then I will... Proceed in um, steaming some carrots. Um, what have we got? Carrots, marrow fat peas, 
and potatoes and then I will mash the potatoes with butter, milk, salt and pepper so they would be quite buttery and creamy and serve them with carrots, marrowfat peas, the steak obviously and the onion gravy. I think that way of cooking steak, the sort of the, well, especially the less expensive pieces work so well, but it will work very well. With ribeye steak, and hopefully I can do enough potatoes mash maybe um, well I can get some more vegetables and some of the gravy I'll do plenty of gravy so there's enough for Monday so I can have um, mashed potatoes onion gravy again and it'll taste so much better the next day that's lovely do I waffle? Sorry. Waffling on. Nobody else listens, it's only you. Mrs. A says, shut up. <laughs> no, she... Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Yeah. A lot of you are saying that you love simple shaves like this as well. It's good, isn't it? It's all about shaving. All about enjoying it. Maybe reliving a few memories, a few scents. It's quite a slick lather that, quite thick. So it's doing well this razor to be getting through it will. That'll do lovely. Cold water rinse. Oh, that is nice. Do you mind? Thank you. Oh, lovely. Well, I hope you enjoy your shave if you have one today. Oh. And if it feels anything like that, then you're going to be very happy. Very happy. That's how a Sunday should be started. You're quite like my gran my grandfather, my grandmother used to always sort of. It's funny, you know, even if they weren't going anywhere, Sunday, Sunday best, these are called it. Where a bit more smarter clothes and respect on the Sabbath day. <laughs> Thayer's, another old, old faithful friend. It would have been just water in the beginning, I wouldn't use witch hazel. But, uh, oh yeah. That is good stuff. Whew. These are in new bottles now, this is one of the old bottles, you know. It's how long I've had it. So that's nice and calming and refreshing on the skin. And then, it's another old classic from Boots the Chemist. <laughs> it's a Freshwood Aftershave. Yeah, so it's quite a woody, sort of musky. Oh, is that? Oh, the little lid, that's handy, so you keep it on when you're not using it. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Because 
got the shaving soap to the boots. The shaving soap. I use with that sometimes. We'll have to do that again. Enjoy it. Right, put that back while you remember. See, it's just a little plastic thing. And then the lid back on. There we go. And this, another old faithful Astral. Um, original Astral. Uh, long before I used um, Arco and all them type of stuff. It's quite a this stuff has got quite a gritty, as not nice as that sounds, bit of a grittiness in it. So when you touch it, you sometimes you feel like bits. But that's how it's always been. But you can't see anything. They just they just uh, work their way in to the skin. Has a has its own sort of unique scent, which is just a memory for me, really. But, uh, and that is lovely. Very happy with that. I look present, I look ple no, what's the word? Presentable enough now to eat a steak in onion gravy. <laughs> anyway, sorry to waffle on. I hope you enjoy your shaves if you haven't one. Thank you again for watching this and for your support and for your comments. Um, I love going through them all uh, on a Sunday afternoon or evening, whenever I've got the time. When we've done our home things, you see, little jobs and cooking and things, relaxing. So, yeah, have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Goodness knows what shenanigans we'll get up to then. All the best, and bye-bye.